fact, I've talked about the idea of qualia inversion to show that qualia are not only ontologically subjective, but also epistemically subjective in how they are understood and labeled. Regarding qualia inversion, I said that it wouldn't make any difference to the subject of such an inversion. In the next video, an experiment is actually presented where a sort of inverted qualia is achieved in a rat. This is what I'm talking about. A scavenging rat is the perfect host. Safe inside a warm body, the toxoplasma eggs hatch and work their way into every organ in the rat's body, especially the brain. Here, the microscopic parasite forms dormant cysts that remain viable for the lifetime of the rat. But to complete its life cycle, the parasite has to wait for a cat to come along and eat the rat. Since rats have a deep fear of cats, this could take some time. So the impatient toxoplasma parasite takes control and speeds up the process. Scientists conducted experiments in which rats were given a choice of nest boxes sprayed with one of four smells. Water, rat urine, rabbit urine, and cat urine. An uninfected rat timidly steers clear of the cat smell, preferring the safety of familiar scents it associates with home. But when the rat had toxoplasma in its brain, the rodent fearlessly explores all smells before settling as close to the cat urine as possible. The microscopic body snatcher in the rodent's brain makes the rat like the smell of cats. For the rat, that has fatal consequences.